beneficial organisms. 1. Setting of curd. Lactobacillus bacterium converts lactose of milk to lactic acid, which turns the milk into curd. How is curd formed? Let's see. For making curd, milk is heated to 37 degrees Celsius. A spoonful of curd is mixed with the milk. This acts as a starter by introducing lactobacilli into the milk. These bacteria start multiplying using the milk sugar lactose. They convert lactose into lactic acid that curdles the milk by acting on the milk protein casein. At higher temperature, the bacteria are killed and curd is not formed. Tanning of leather. Bacteria help in tanning the skin of animals so that soft leather is obtained. Setting of fibers. Fibers of jute, flax and hemp are obtained by submerging their stems in water. The action of bacteria growing in water sets the fibers free from the stem tissues. Formation of compost, manure and gober gas. Some bacteria decompose the organic wastes, releasing methane gas. This is collected and used as fuel. The decomposed solid products are used as manure. The biogas and gober gas plants are designed on the same principle. They provide fuel gas and manure for the fields. Nitrogen fixation. Rhizobium bacterium is found in the root nodules of leguminous plants like pea, beans, mustard, and gram. It converts atmospheric nitrogen into nitrates, which are used by plants. Nitrogen fixing green algae are used to increase the soil fertility because they enrich the soil with nitrates. Digestion of cellulose. Some bacteria live in the alimentary canal of herbivorous animals like cows, camel, etc. They break down insoluble cellulose of the plant fibers in food into simple soluble sugars which are readily digested by the animals. Recycling of matter. Bacteria and fungi also decompose complex organic compounds of excretory products and dead remains of plants and animals into simple inorganic substances. This helps clear the earth of waste. These inorganic substances are used by plants to synthesize new organic compounds. Medicinal use. Certain antibiotics and vitamins are manufactured with the help of bacteria and fungi. The antibiotic penicillin is obtained from the fungus penicillium. It is used to cure several bacterial diseases. Other uses of bacteria. In vinegar, some bacteria convert ethyl alcohol into vinegar. Bacteria also help in curing of cheese, tobacco, and tea. This helps to add flavor to them. Some bacteria feed on oil and oil products. These are used to help clean the oil spills. Uses of algae. Seaweeds and chlorella are eaten as food 
as they are rich in proteins and vitamins. Algin, which is used in making ice creams, is obtained from brown algae. Agar agar, which is used in tissue culture and for making medicines and cosmetics, is obtained from red algae. Diatoms are used in making paints, metal polish, toothpaste, porcelain, etc. Yeast as food. Yeast, Saccharomyces, is used to prepare wine and beer by the fermentation of fruit juice and barley. It breaks down the sugar into alcohol and carbon dioxide. Yeast is also used in bread making industry as a source of carbon dioxide gas. As the carbon dioxide rises through the dough, air spaces are formed that make the bread spongy. Fungi as food. Fungi like aspergillus and penicillin are added to cheese to improve its flavor. Certain mushrooms are eaten as food. They are a rich source of protein. Fungi grow on dead and decaying bodies of plants and animals and convert them into useful nutrients. Preparation of Vaccines Vaccines are antigens prepared from pathogenic bacteria to promote active immunity without causing disease. These have dead or weakened microorganisms. Vaccines are introduced into a healthy person to induce the formation of antibodies in the body for fighting against bacterial infection. Vaccines have already been developed against smallpox, cholera, tuberculosis, hepatitis, polio, whooping cough, typhoid, etc.